first of all, congratulations Thank on you. your nomination. You're the director behind the scenes of all the lights you cannot see. I'm so curious, like when it comes to like barriers and some of the challenges that you face on this particular project, what were some of those hurdles that you had to overcome? Well, I think that the central challenge of this story is that the hero of the story is a blind girl. And so early on, I had to make a decision. How are we going to represent that experience? And so I thought long and hard about it, but I kind of came to the conclusion that we needed to do it authentically. And so we did a global search looking for a seven-year-old and a 20-something who were low vision or blind. And I found these two girls, Nell and Aria, they've not only never acted before, they had never auditioned before. And so the biggest challenge, I thought the biggest challenge was how do I teach them how to act on camera? But I didn't anticipate that they taught me as much about their experience in the world as I taught them about my experience on a set. That's so interesting that you chose those two individual, you know, young ladies, like, because one would assume that it would be much easier to take the other route. You know, two individuals who are experienced yeah. have gone through several auditions. Like, what was so special about... Great question, great question. I think what was special about Aria and Nell is, for starters, this is their lived experience. They are navigating the world without sight or with limited sight. And we've watched a hundred years of movies and shows where people fake that. And the real thing, it's just different. And until we give representation a shot at being authentic, why would it ever change? And so now that we've done it, my hope is that the next time there's a character, whether it's a big character or small, that all the assumptions about the easy way to do it, the conventional way to do it, that we start to question those assumptions. Before I let you go, Dan, what would a win tonight mean for you? I mean, the truth is that I'm pretty thrilled to be in this room. I've been in the Guild for a lot of years, and, uh, and this means a lot. A win would be unbelievably exciting. Uh, particularly because it's for a piece of work that is completely different than pretty much all the movies I've directed. And that's what made it scary, but that's also what made it irresistible. First of all, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. I look forward to seeing you on the inside. Right on. I'll see you in there. Listen. Thank you. Thank you.